Bon Allen Sports. As you guys know, in the second round, our first pick in the draft was safety Kyle Duger. It's a grade of an A, I guess, apparently to a lot of people. Um, we took an edge rusher named Gavin Dortch, an edge rusher from Alabama named Emmett Mancuso, a tight end named Derek Lang, another tight end named Landon Nicholas, uh, a place kicker named Duncan Reedy, uh, an offensive tackle named Augustine Goch, as in like Vincent Van Gogh, um, and <laughs> center Dustin Jackson Lorenz from Memphis. So, we did. I think that's a good draft haul. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty good. So, I especially am excited to see Derek Lang and Truman Crittenden, especially uh, Augustine Guh. So, Augustine Guh, I think, is going to have a great uh, chance in the NFL. Duncan Reedy and Maria Kenyon, I don't know if they're NFL ready yet. I think these are reaches by Bill Belichick and the Patriots. Yeah. But Jackson Lorenz, he's going to make a good center. And a donkey? A donkey? Oh, I thought I heard a donkey. Donkey? Yeah. I don't think we drafted a donkey. Did we draft a donkey? <laughs> Does anyone know if we drafted a donkey? Thaddeus Moss? Actually, I've been getting ready for the show. I don't even know. Has he been drafted? Crap, man. I didn't even wake up till just a few hours ago. I was up all night watching the draft. Of course, over here, that's up and that's all the way until the morning. So. Yeah, so uh, let's discuss these players, guys, because they seem amazing picks. Oh, see it twice says we drafted a kicker, so that's donkey like. See, donkey, we did draft a donkey. Well, yeah. We know. Huh? Yeah, so I got it right. We did drop that. We did draft a donkey, a, a kicker. But I'm telling you, I really, really think Emmett Mancuso is going to be the outside linebacker that we've been looking for. And. I think he's amazing. I do too. And. Yeah. And Maria also. Maria what? Maria Kenyon. Oh, yeah. Maria Kenyon, I think, will be by far. <laughs> the greatest strong safety that the Patriots have ever had. Absolutely. I must agree. I've been watching, you know, he or she for like so long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who the hell are these people? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Oh, but you gotta like Augustine Goch. Goch. <laughs> I, I wish that was a person. I, I wish that was a person. <laughs> like that? <laughs> Who the hell are these people? At first, I was like, mm, what are you talking about? <laughs> I got you too, didn't I? Yeah, definitely. But the donkey thing, it just... And Maria, that, that gives What, you don't think Maria Kenyon is going to be a good safety in the NFL? Uh, so I went on a website that generates random stupid names, and it gave me this, th these guys. Awesome. So, yeah, here's what it gave me. Here's, this is, this is the Patriots uh, draft list, but it really doesn't make a damn bit of difference because nobody's heard of the other guys either. So... How about that? I mean, <laughs> Mean Joe Green, I'm pretty high. I love this show. <laughs> okay, come on, be honest. For anybody who wasn't really closely paying attention to every draft pick, you thought I was naming off Patriots players. Be honest. <laughs> come on, man. Now see, I would love to I would love to have mentioned Hingle McCringleberry, but that would have given it away. Who the hell cares? It's the same people. I started off with Kyle Duger, which is a real guy that got drafted. Which I seriously was serious about that. I liked them after I looked into him. I didn't have him on my list, but uh, my original list, but after I've looked into him, pretty good pick. I mean, and I'm not Bill Belichick, so I'm not gonna second guess him on that. Yeah, I like his attitude too, mean Joe Green. I, I Maria I Kenyon, she definitely had the 
um, the attributes that I thought was good in an NFL yeah, player. And and the what? Oh, she was a good she's a good asset. Oh, very oh of course. I mean I mean all these people are good athletes, but Maria was exceptional. Pedro says, totally honest here. I actually thought you were calling out Dolphins picks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean why not, right? You like that dinner line? Us Augustine Goh is so underrated. Yeah, he is the still of the draft. Absolutely. Come on. You guys got to admit, this draft was a complete mess. I mean, it was ridiculous. I mean, even the coaching staffs of certain teams didn't even take it seriously. They didn't even care, you know? Sean Payton, he put up a... He, he had every single... Now, I don't know if you guys know about this, but... The NFL gave out guidelines that every coach and general manager on camera, you had to... You could only reveal products that were sponsors of the NFL. And if you didn't have that, then you would have to uh, cover it up. So when you see Belichick's dog uh, drafting for him, which is probably makes a lot of sense, but when you see Belichick's, what, but Belichick's dog is probably still a better GM than most of the ones in the NFL. But when you see his, his computers and they have a Patriots logo over them and stuff, that's because it's an Apple. Uh, but if it's Microsoft, then they want you to reveal it. Well, Sean Payton just didn't give a crap. All right, he went with Twizzlers, which is made by, I think, Mars, and their competitor is Hershey's, or maybe I got that backwards, but one of those. Sponsors Microsoft Windows, so he had a Mac showing the, the Apple up there, and, uh, and a drink, something, yeah, he had a drink made by Dr. Pepper, and their sponsor's Pepsi. So he totally went, I mean, that was obvious, on purpose and then you had Mike Vrabel and his family what the hell were they doing you had a guy that looked like he was dressed like toilet paper and then you had another guy with a mullet who looked like Mike Vrabel probably when he was 15 uh, wearing his Pro Bowl jersey and then you had another guy on the toilet so listen man nobody took this seriously even Roger Goodell by the end of the draft Roger Goodell was sitting there in the chair like Ugh. I mean, he looked like he wanted to kill himself. Who in the league wants to give a middle finger to the NFL more than Sean Payton and Bill Belichick, right? So Sean Payton does the endorsements thing, totally changes the sponsorship, and Belichick uses his dog. Okay. I like it. So, but I love that dog, though. That dog is actually the exact type of dog that we always said we would get if we ever owned a dog. But I think a dog should be owned when you have a lot of land and a home, you know, a lot of room. And West Hollywood is not exactly a good place for a dog, I, I don't think. Uh, plus, I have two cats and one of them's a total bitch. And she'd be like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, that's a good point, Jeff Orthodox. Uh, why do other fans hate Goodell? I, I know why we hate Goodell and I know why Saints fans hate Goodell. But why does the other other uh, teams' fans hate Goodell? I mean, he gives them what they want. They cry, they bitch and moan, they whine like babies, and they get their way. I mean, if you're a Ravens fan, you should be absolutely in love with Roger Goodell because your coach whines like a little bitch, and then, oh, it's time to suspend Tom Brady because you can't beat him. All because he told you, maybe you need to learn the rule book, buddy. Yeah, that's what's up. Thank you so much for watching Von Allen Sports. We hope you like and share the video, and to make sure you don't miss a thing, click the subscribe button on the bell icon to be notified. Sports.